One night, Brandy found herself in the midst of a peculiar situation. She was watching over her friend's dog while attending to her own pet inside her trailer. As she slept, she was abruptly stirred from her slumber around 5.30 a.m. by faint whispers in her ear. Simultaneously, she detected what seemed like movement coming from the back bedroom. Concerned and wary due to past eerie encounters and sightings of shifting shadows, Brandy opted to document the situation. She reached for her phone, intending to capture any potential developments. Eerie growls emanate from the rear bedroom, stirring unease. The recent move into a new trailer places her adjacent to the old camper where her boyfriend's uncle met his end. Within that camper's confines, she experienced unsettling occurrences, encounters with shadowy figures and a chilling disembodied voice. Now, her current residence echoes with the disconcerting behavior of the dog she's caring for fixated on the hallway and barking without apparent cause. After summoning her bravery, she decides to explore the location and stumbles upon an unusual handprint. Okay, y'all, check this out. I was going about to cook and I found this hand, or whatever you call this, on my icebox. Now look at my left hand compared to this thing right here. Look at that. It's not me. I don't have any kids. Just a dog, as you can see right here. Just a dog, and that's surely not his. So what the hell is this? And it's got one, wait, one, two, three, four. Four fingers. And look how small. What the hell is that? It appears that whatever was present in the camper has now trailed her into the new trailer, possibly due to its close proximity. However. At present, the situation remains a mystery. Tasha D and her husband have recently relocated to an aged farmhouse nestled in rural upstate New York. As they embark on the journey of renovating their new abode, Tasha finds herself encountering inexplicable and disconcerting events. These eerie incidents manifest solely when she is alone, leading her husband to approach the situation with a measure of skepticism. However, one particular day, a picture of frame abruptly tumbles to the floor without any cause. Prompted by a growing unease, Tasha instinctively reaches for her phone, aiming to capture evidence of these unsettling occurrences, hoping to convey to her husband the disquieting reality lurking within the confines of their old farmhouse. See, and you think I'm crazy. The first time I'm here by myself, there's a picture on the floor and it just... As events unfold, the peculiarity escalates with the unexpected behavior of the family dogs. Why are you running? Another ordinary day, Tasha decides to capture a candid moment with her dogs on video, intending to share it on Snapchat. However, during the recording, something unexpected occurs. Look at them, destroying the living room over one toy. <laughs> so 
silly. Shortly after Tasha posts the video to Snapchat, a concerned friend contacts her, expressing alarm over what appears to be a strange, shadowy figure moving alongside her dogs. Perplexed by this unsettling revelation, Tasha takes to TikTok to share her experience, seeking insights from the online community. The video swiftly garners the attention of millions of intrigued TikTok users sparking speculation about the possibility of Tasha inadvertently stirring up a paranormal presence during the farmhouse renovations. As the speculation mounts, one fateful night, just past midnight, Tasha is startled by the sound of her doorbell ringing. Instinctively, she checks the security camera footage, only to be confronted with a sight that sends shivers down her spine. The presence of a dark shadow moving towards the outdoor deck chair and seemingly taking a seat before vanishing into the night raises compelling questions about the nature of Tasha's new abode. Could Tasha and her family have unwittingly moved into a haunted farmhouse? The timing of these eerie occurrences alongside the renovation efforts suggests a plausible connection. It's conceivable that the disturbances are unsettling a dormant paranormal presence? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Diego, a Spanish creator, has diligently recorded the alarming occurrences within his home over the past two years. Some of his videos have garnered tens of millions of views as intrigued viewers attempt to rationalize the unsettling phenomena he has captured. Among his extensive collection of footage, a recurring presence resembling the spirit of a child has been frequently observed. Despite his efforts to film this entity, Diego has never managed to approach it closely. In the forthcoming video, you will witness firsthand the elusive nature of this apparition. <laughs> As Diego bent down, he noticed a chilling visage in the small circular cutout, manifesting for a fleeting moment. Yet, upon swiftly pulling the TV stand from the wall, there was no trace of anyone present. Given the snug fit of the TV stand against the wall, it seemed implausible for anyone or anything to have concealed themselves there. In the subsequent week, the disturbances in his home appeared to subside. However, to Diego's dismay, this respite was short-lived. <laughs> Diego was startled by a loud knock on his door, drawing his immediate attention. To his surprise, he found the same eerie child standing outside. Its pale countenance peered in, observing Diego intently. Summoning courage, he opened the door, only to find the child had vanished without a trace. This unsettling encounter presents either compelling evidence of the supernatural or a meticulously crafted deception. Let me know your thoughts on this one. Hira Miraz, a night security guard, found himself increasingly apprehensive during his night shifts at a superstore. Gradually, he became attuned to peculiar occurrences, encountering phenomena that defied rational explanation. His unease escalated steadily until one fateful night shift, when the clock struck past 3 a.m., and Hira sensed an ominous presence lurking within the confines of the store. Determined to document this unsettling encounter, 
he hastily reached for his camera intent on capturing evidence of the inexplicable entity in the shadows. No, ya no se va a ver nada. Ya no se va a ver nada porque lo que se mira acá de este lado es la pantalla que está prendida. Ah, ya revit esa. De ahí en más, pues estoy solo, les digo, estaba todo solo ahorita. Solo, solo. Y ahorita vi algo allá en la entrada de clientes. Hasta allá, hasta el último. Y lo vi clarito, clarito. Ya lo vi otra vez. A ver si, el, a ver si se alcanza a ver. No, me da miedo ir. A eso, eso que se mira ahí. Ese, eso negro que se ve ahí. Miren, ya se movió. ¡Oh! Está caminando, de hecho, hasta que no, no manches. No manches. Y se sigue moviendo. Se sigue moviendo. Es una persona, claro, hasta que... Miren, miren. No, 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 no. Vámonos. A figure resembling a person or a dark shadowy form is observed lingering at the aisle's end, silently observing and trailing him during his nocturnal patrols. Adding to the distress, several days later, he awakens abruptly to the clamor of his dogs barking vehemently. Investigating the source of the disturbance, he manages to capture something unsettling on camera. Amigos, me levanté hace la madrugada porque se oye que están ladrando los perros muy feo. Si ¿Sí oyen, vamos a salir. Está haciendo airecito así como que muy. Miren, mi gato, ¿dónde está? ¿Ya lo vieron? Está haciendo airecito así como que muy agradable, pero los perros sí, sí los oyen, amigos. Se oye así como que da miedo, ¿no? A mysterious silhouette is visible through the window of the neighboring house. Intrigued, he opts to inspect the security camera positioned outside his own residence to ascertain its depiction. Mira, es eso lo que se ve en la esquina, mira. Mira. También se mira aquí en las cámaras. Mira, eso. Mira, y no, no manches. ¿Qué será? Mira, mira. ¿Ya viste? It appears that whatever occurs is also captured by the security camera, exhibiting unnatural movement. Subsequently, he proceeds to approach the dwelling and divulges a disconcerting fact, thereby intensifying the eerie atmosphere. Acerca de lo de ayer, de los perros y todo lo que pasó ayer en la, en la madrugada, este, miren, se dejan, yo salí por aquí, salgo y grabo así. Entonces estaba moviendo las palmas, estaba haciendo aire. Lo que quiero que vean es que en la casa de enfrente está abandonada, amigos. Está completamente abandonada, es lo que quiero que vean. Miren. Miren, amigos. Aquí fue. Aquí fue donde... Donde se vio esa cosa, aquí de este lado, aquí, en esto. Y si se fijan la cámara que yo tengo, también lo grabó. También se grabó por la cámara. Miren, ahí está la cámara, miren. According to Gerard Meraz, the house opposite his own stands abandoned, 
leaving only two conceivable possibilities. Either a homeless individual has taken refuge within, or a spectral presence looms. However, the surveillance camera positioned outside his residence monitors all points of entry, and upon scrutinizing the recordings, no individuals are observed entering or exiting the premises. This absence of tangible presence suggests a paranormal occurrence. Could this entity be the same spectral figure encountered during his nocturnal shifts at the store, now seemingly trailing him homeward? It aligns with the common narrative of hauntings commencing with a presence following one to their dwelling, endeavoring to capture their attention and gain entry. TikTok user I'm Sam I Guess has recently shared four videos highlighting disturbing occurrences. The initial footage depicts the uploader exploring a dimly lit, unsettling room. While the ambiance sets a foreboding tone, initially there seems to be nothing overtly alarming. However, a disconcerting event unfolds shortly thereafter, prompting a visibly shaken reaction from the uploader. In the subsequent video, she recounts her prior presence in the room, noting the current absence of illumination, resulting in its dimness. Additionally, she presents a diminutive pumpkin-shaped item, mentioning its earlier descent to the floor. Yet, during filming, an exceedingly occurrence seizes her complete focus, leaving her speechless. This is the dry room where we keep the food and stuff, and like the carts have like fudge on them or whatever. Um, I don't know why that thing fell earlier. I'm really... Regrettably for the uploader, it appears that the sense of dread extends to her home, as evidenced by the events depicted in the upcoming video. At the beginning of the recording, she mentions hearing tapping sounds emanating from within her house. Venturing into the living room, she queries her family about the peculiar noises, only to learn that they assumed she was responsible for them. Continuing her investigation, she enters the bathroom, where she discerns that the source of the sounds seems to be originating from the shower. Are you guys tapping on something out here? No, oh, I thought that was you. Oh, yeah. Wait, shh, shh, shh. Where is it? The shower? What the hell? In the fourth and concluding video, the TikToker is depicted sitting on the stairs, engaging in dialogue with the purported spirit inhabiting her residence. She addresses the spirit, stating, So, since you like to slam doors in this house, do you think you could do it now? After a brief pause marked by utter silence, this happens. Do you think you could do it now? No way. One noticeable aspect gleaned from viewing this uploader's content is her apparent cohabitation with a peculiar spirit. However, whether this entity poses a threat or merely exudes an eerie presence remains uncertain. One can only hope that this TikToker will eventually find solace and tranquility in her daily life, free from the grip of fear and uncertainty. Paranormal investigators Tomo and Hiro from the Omega Toki Film YouTube channel received a distressing call from one of their viewers, a man named Taguchi. He described experiencing unsettling phenomena in his studio apartment somewhere in Japan. Taguchi disclosed that six months prior, he secured a remarkably inexpensive apartment, unaware of its grim history. 
the previous tenant had ended their life within its walls. Initially unfazed by the apartment's past, Taguchi dismissed any notion of supernatural activity and proceeded to sign the lease. However, his demeanor shifted as he encountered increasingly disturbing occurrences. Sleep became elusive as he heard inexplicable footsteps and voices. Most terrifyingly, he fell victim to sleep paralysis, where a contorted, laughing visage loomed over him, rendering him immobile. Concerned for Taguchi's well-being, Tomo and Hiro resolved to investigate. They deployed two static cameras within Taguchi's residence, capturing footage over the course of a month. Upon reviewing the collected recordings, they were astounded by what unfolded one fateful night as Taguchi slept. Taguchi appears to be experiencing a distressing nightmare, evident from his frantic clutching at his neck and sudden awakening in a state of panic. However, during this episode, there is a notable occurrence. A spectral figure with a pallid complexion manifests in the hallway, seemingly observing Taguchi's turmoil as he sleeps. As Taguchi awakens, the apparition vanishes abruptly. Yet, there is an additional peculiar aspect to this event. Simultaneous with the apparition's disappearance, the second camera aimed at the hallway experiences a loss of focus, coinciding with the emergence of a distorted visage directly in front of the camera lens. Could this be the same strange apparition that Taguchi claims he's witnessed during the night? The Omega Toki team speculates that Taguchi might be experiencing the presence of the previous owner's spirit. However, you can form your own conclusion by viewing the entire investigation on the Omega Toki film YouTube channel.